summer, U.S. highways are being used more and more to sell all kinds of merchandise. Profitable roadside specialty today is dogs. Far outnumbering city pet shops, kennels by the side of the road tempt dog-loving motorists to become dog owners. In more than 5,000 cash and carry transactions each week, both mongrels and thoroughbreds are acquiring new homes and new masters. Today, with more than 15 million dog owners in the U.S., the dog business has become big business with an annual revenue of $600 million. Far more profitable than just plain dog trading is selling dog supplies, especially dog luxury. Many a dog owner is willing to spend freely to provide his pet with dogdom's latest creation. Most department stores operate elaborately equipped salons, where by appointment only, dogs may be groomed and curried. For hungry city dogs, canine catering services will, at $2 a week, serve well-balanced meals. A daily entree of tough meat and two vegetables, and fish on Friday. Telegraph companies operate a special service for the convenience of apartment-dwelling dogs. In hospitals, supported by humane society, poor dogs are treated free in the clinic. But rich dogs must pay hospital rates, and in addition, the veterinary's fee. In most big cities, there are dog cemeteries where the memory of many a faithful pet is perpetuated by its master. Founded in 1929, this institution trains highly intelligent dogs, 95% of them shepherds, trains them to guide the blind. It is the world's famous seeing eye. These dogs first must spend three months under the direction of professional trainers before they are assigned to their masters. A second training period of one month is necessary to adjust dog and man to each other. They steer their masters by means of a handlebar harnessed across the back, so sensitive that the dog's slightest turn is felt by the blind man's hand. More than a month of constant association is required between seeing eye dog and blind master. Finally, they achieve complete understanding, faultless coordination. Seeing eye dogs are privileged and exempt from many laws and ordinances which today are rigidly enforced because of the rapid increase in the nation's dog population. <laughs> Traveling by rail to his home in Virginia, Dr. Claus is told that dogs must ride in baggage cars. On behalf of the blind and their dogs, he complains at Washington. From U.S. Congressman Clyde H. Smith, he receives a promise that a bill will be introduced into Congress compelling all railroads to permit seeing-eye dogs to ride in passenger cars. The proposed legislation goes into hearing before the House Interstate Commerce Committee. If we simply leave this matter where it is now, the blind and their seeing-eye dogs will be subject to the discrimination of the railroad gateman and employees. We will recommend that this bill be reported favorably. While this bill is called in congressional routine at Washington, 
In Albany, New York, Governor Herbert H. Lehman approves a law granting wide privileges to blind people and their dogs. Today in New York State, dog guides may accompany their masters on all public conveyances. For the blind master and his seeing dog are now, by statute, recognized as one individual. Thank you.